Hi guys, it's Steve from Tarantula Tastic Enclosures for Spider Shop YouTube today. Today we are going to be looking at their new range of zombie horror hides. These are awesome, absolutely awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a good look at them, set them up in an enclosure so you can see how cool they are. Um, I'm proper stoked that um, Spider Shop are getting these in. I think it's the only place in the UK that are doing this sort of stuff. It's really, really cool. Loads of people are jumping on board with the horror themed tarantula enclosures at the minute and I, me personally I think it's awesome. A lot of my enclosures are all horror based so uh, without further ado let's get down and have a look at these um, new hides. So guys the first hide is an awesome zombie hide. This is for an arboreal so through the mouth all the way through to the bottom. Um, what I really like about this is the back has been made flat. So when we push it up against the enclosure, you're not gonna, it's not gonna waste a load of space. You imagine if that went actually filled the back up, we're losing loads of space, but that's gonna fit in nice and flush. You can tell it's been hand sculpted and resin cast. So this is gonna last forever absolutely forever but it's the, the amount of detail on it is absolutely astounding now this is going to be an awesome centerpiece in any enclosure that you do um, you're not really going to have to worry about making a background or anything so when we set up this enclosure you'll see how much of an awesome centerpiece it will look i'm so glad spider shop are doing these because uh, the horror themed enclosure things is really taking off at the minute. Also, we've got this little smaller one. It's got a hollow inside and a nice little hole for the spider to go into. I really like this one. It's the same amount of detail in there. You can tell it's been hand sculpted, but the detail in it is awesome. Also made out of resin. So that's gonna last forever. Yeah, it's awesome. Right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna set up an enclosure and see how cool this looks. Right, for this one, I've gone, this is a 20 by 20 by 30 arboreal enclosure. But as you can see, fits in nice and flush with the enclosure so you're not wasting any room around the front so what we're going to do we're going to set it up and see how cool it looks so one i mean if you're like me a massive instagrammer you want that perfect pick um imagine a spider crawling out of the mouth and uh, what we've done we've chosen a um, diverse piece to put in here um, she, I know she's a bit of a webber, so you imagine the webbing coming out in the mouth, give it a few days, it's just going to look awesome. And it will continue to, the more she webs, the more the enclosure grows itself, it'll look even better as it keeps going on. Right, so set it all up. I think that looks pretty epic actually. It's not taking anything away from the center the center piece. Yeah. With the background I think it looks like it's pushing out of the soil. Which is my intended root on this one. Right, so now we're just gonna have a spider. She's stunning colours. So she should fit 
fit this enclosure quite well. It's a bit stubborn and doesn't like moving. and get some cool picks. Right, so that one's done. Let's move on to this one. Now I've got a little transfer room enclosure here. This is going to be perfect, as you can see. Move that down a bit in the soil. Take it about. That works perfectly. Put it nice and central in the enclosure. What we're going to do, we're going to put green bolt blue in here. So, I might add a couple little branches. A little, little bit of leaf litter to a bit more texture. That's about it, nice and easy. It's got a tiny little water dish. These ones don't like it humid, so I'm basically allergic to water, most of them. So we just have a tiny little water bowl. That will look epic once it's all webbed up. So I'm gonna go and find one of my green belt blues and pop them in there. Yeah, that's the enclosure by itself. I mean, you could add more around the sides. Any, actually, I might get rid of that bit. Any good anchor points for a green bottle blue, guaranteed more webbing. So, hopefully, we'll get loads. Five minutes, the enclosure's done, and then the green bottle blaze will make it epic. You imagine once all the webbing's round, if he uses the hide as well, you're going to be having like webbing coming out of there surrounding the face. It's just going to look awesome. All right, let's go and find one more. There she is. Perfect size. Just going to web that up nicely. Imagine all the webbing coming up and around, that's going to be epic. So now you can see how cool it looks. A little bit of cool lighting and this thing is popping. It's created that nice eerie feel. I would um, recommend if you're using lighting, nice red lighting, the spiders seem to come out more. They don't recognise the red lights. So, plus it gives it that awesome horror feel. These are absolutely awesome. This has turned out well nice. As a centerpiece, it's gonna be awesome for any enclosure. It's a ready-made enclosure, really. It's only got a bark background, some branches and stuff, but it, it's the actual centerpiece that sets it off. Nice one. 
Thanks for watching guys. Um, the enclosure now is down on the display wall. I love it that much. Um, really, really awesome um, design, build, and uh, the whole quality of it is absolutely perfect. And to be honest, all, all you need to do is buy that and it sets off the whole enclosure. It's your centerpiece and everything. Don't forget to order your like, leaf litter and other little bits just to add that last effect to it and you will not be disappointed. Awesome from the spider shop. Thank you very much for letting me take part in this. Nice one, guys. From me, Steve, from Tarantula Tastic Enclosures. Thank you very much, guys.